Security for this longevity is quite easy. You have to um, you have to drink every day the special water, one glass a day. It's um, it's become from a special fountain, very secret fountain. Um, Mr. Zimmerman, alias uh, uh, Bob Dylan, in, in, is singing about of uh, forever young, and you know you have to do something like that. No, it's a continuity. It's a discussion day by day. It's a, it's a feedback. It's a fighting, like in a marriage. You know, mm. Mm. you have to every day open a discussion. Every day you have to be elastic. Every day you have to be rigid. Every day you have to be a good fighter. Every day you have to be a good lover. You know, to be holistic, it uh, sounds uh, uh, sounds uh, very balanced. You have to be extreme. Uh, you have to be a little bit uh, chauvinistic. You have to be uh, not, you know, really well done. But at the same time, in a, in a Milanese tradition, to be architect means it, you have to be good to design from the spoon till the town. You know. You have to, to, to control different dimensions, you have to control different proportions, you have to control different layers of life. I never accept in my mind, professionally speaking, to design something like a building and somebody decide to design something inside. You know, this level of disconnections, it's for me crucial and not good enough. If you are good for design, a piece inside in a room, you have to be good to design a room inside in a building. Only, uh, I only try to follow one simple uh, detail. Sometimes, you know, to be uh, architect, you have to be a little bit schizophrenic. You have to think in, in, in many different way of life. You know, you have to be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde all together, but many Dr. Jekylls and many Mr. Hydes. I tell to you, I'm so lucky. You know, in the end, I, I play. I play since when I was a young boy, and I continue to play. You know, I only change the scale of the toys. Everything in my, you know, everything in my mind it's, uh, is possible, and everything in my mind is not possible because I'm responsible. And sometimes. Somebody asked me to do something and they says no thank you. This one it's a real quality and, and is a, the, the real wish is not to design a tower or to design a special object. The real wish is is to be enough brave to say no thank you. I don't do it. I never shift in a humanistic way. I'm born humanistic. And I only follow these simple rules. To be connected. Connections, it was when I was a young student. Connection, it was the key word. It was a topic word. If you remember, in, uh, in the end of the 14th century, Mr. Vasari wrote the 12 books of architecture. The first intrepid and I use the Latin word, incipit, it was to be architect, you have to be doctor, you have to be worker, you have to be carpenter, you have to be painter, you have to be poet, you have to be chemical, you have to be engineer, you have to be uh, everything. Because it was the humanistic approach. Well, I try to use exactly the same, and I think this one is again, in all my eyes, the good designers, they continue to follow this humanistic approach. The other one, some of the new generation, they are so convinced to design something, like a show, show piece, you know what I mean? It's like a show off. Come on. The real future for a, for a design world is 
a strongly connection with production, first, second with the industries, doesn't matter bigger or smaller, the boundaries, cultural boundaries, and responsibility. That's it. The real, real uh, profession for me is to be a ski teacher. I com I'm completely crazy for free ride and, uh, you know, pounder snow and something like that. It's, uh, it's for me like a, like a drug. But this is another story. If it's possible to choose again for the next life, which kind of thinking would you like to do? I like again to become an architect. <laughs>